Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is our great pleasure to welcome you all to the induction ceremony of Idea Forge, the much anticipated inter university Ideathon organized by the Computer Science Students Association of University of Kalania. I'm Koshila Hansani, your moderator for today's session. To all the participants, we are thrilled to have you here. Your enthusiasm and commitment have truly inspired us. This is your chance to shine, think creatively, and make a difference. Now, first of all, let me introduce the Computer Science Student Association in University of Kalania. The Computer Science Students Association takes great pride in being one of the most dynamic student bodies in the Faculty of Computing and Technology in the University of Kalania. The association works toward modeling passionate undergraduates to become a center of excellence in creating and distributing disseminating knowledge in computing and technology for sustainable development. CSSA consists more than 250 young potential individuals who strive to deliver the best for the community to improve their knowledge of computer science. The association vision unfolds through a dedicated journey of continuous learning and innovation where undergraduates collaborate to advance their understanding of technology landscape. Now, let me invite Nipuni Duminda, 
organizing committee president of idea forge to welcome you all hello everyone i hope we are all having great day i am nipuni dominda one of the organizing committee president of idea forge it is cruel pleasure to see all the participants who have registered for this event welcome to this wonderful msc nan extra initiative into university idea then first of all let me extend a warm welcome to vindula disanayaka the president of the computer science students association the executive committee of students computer science students association the organizing committee members of idea fog and all the members of computer science students association next i want to warmly welcome all the young talented technology enthusiasts from all the universities of sri lanka who have taken a significant step by applying for idea fog as one of the organizing committee president of idea fog i invite you all the way actively engage with us to ensure the success of this event your active participation and support are crucial in creating an unforgettable experience for everyone involved remember idea fog is a fantastic opportunity to showcase your knowledge talent and skills it is chance to get recognized for your innovative ideas and hard work good luck to all of you and let's make this event unforgettable thank you koshila thank you nipuni before moving on you can direct your questions via the link provided in the chat box and we will be having a q and a session to resolve the problems at the end of the event now let me introduce idea forge idea forge is an inter university idea fund organized by the computer science students association in university of kalania all the young and science enthusiasts around sri lanka creating a dynamic and collaborative platform that brings together participants to brainstorm ideate and prototype solution for real world challenges idea forge is a competition held for the youth to unleash their creativity innovation and design knowledge while ensuring that the solution generated align with the current demands of technological application i know all of you might be curious to know about the timeline of idea forge so let me brief you on the timeline of idea forge on march 1st we commenced our registration phase welcoming eager mindset to join idea forge on may 15th uh 15th we conclude the registration process having received an overwhelming response from the enthusiastic innovators from all over the country today on may 19 we gather for the induction ceremony making the official launch of idea forge and tomorrow we will be officially opening the proposal submission to submit the pro uh, proposals looking forward on may 22 we having a virtual session on business documentation laying the groundwork for our participants to develop their ideas further the proposal submission will be closed on may 26 on june 2 we will announce our seven finalists uh, who are getting selected to the grand finale and we will allocate mentors to guide the, uh, you in uh, developing your solution following that on june 9 we have a technical and idea pitching workshop we are finally uh, finally this uh, receive the opportunity to improve their uh, presentation skills and refine their ideas finally mark your calendars for june 16 for a grand finale and award ceremony of idea forge so i hope you have clear idea of what we will be doing in the uh, in the coming months Are we are you aware about the benefits you can gain by participating in idea forge let me explain the brief uh, benefits you gain by participating in idea forge all participants will receive valuable e certificates 
as recognition uh, for their involvement. Also, you can win amazing award and cash prizes for your innovative ideas and solution in the grand finale of Idea Forge. You will gain valuable exposure to corporate environments, enhancing your professional network. As a participant, you will immerse yourself in industry and cooperative environments uh, to broaden your insights. This is why Idea Forge is such a great opportunity for all of you. Now, this is another moment you have been eagerly waiting for. Let me tell you about the amazing awards that winners will receive. The grand prize of 50,000 rupees will be awarded to the champion team recognizing their outstanding innovation and creativity. The first runner-up team will receive a prize of 30,000 rupees acknowledging their remarkable achievement in the competition. The second runner-up team will be awarded a prize of 20,000 rupees celebrating their impressive performance throughout the event. Additionally, there will be a special award for the most popular team. This award will be determined uh, through the point system that allocates point, uh, points based on the quantity of social media reactions received by each team, showcasing their popularity and engagement with the Idea Forge community. These awards uh, serve as an appreciation of dedication, talent, and creativity of all our participants. Here are the competition guidelines and judging cri uh, uh, criteria for you. First, uh, contestants provided with a set of domains, and their task is to come up with innovative solutions and align with the current demands. It is important to note that uh, the section or, uh, selection of each round will be slowly based on the uh, decision of our estimated judge panel. They will be evaluating each submission based on the specific rules, regulations, and selection criteria that will be informed before the start of each round. Additionally, delegates are encouraged to actively participate in technical session. Points will be awarded for engagement during these sessions as well as for quizzes following the knowledge ses uh, sessions. Lastly, uh, it is uh, crucial to emphasize uh, that any form of uh, plagiarism, including copying, designing from ex uh, exiting platforms will result in the disqualification of the team. Make sure that all of you adhere to uh, these guidelines and criteria as you embark on this exciting journey of innovation and creativity in Idea Forge. Now, I'm excited to share with you the most crucial part, uh, the domain of Idea Forge. Let's start by the discussing the healthcare domain, which en uh, encompasses a wide range of activities and innovations aimed at improving medical care, patient outcomes, and overall wellness. It involves the application of technology, research, and innovation to enhance medical services, address public health challenges, and improve the quality of life for individuals. Key areas include medical imaging analysis, uh, patient monitoring and management, drug discovery and de uh, development, personalized uh, treatment plans, and healthcare robotics. Well, uh, we will examine the education domain, which encompasses a broad uh, spectrum of activities, technologies, and methodologies aimed at uh, facilitating e learning, skill development, and knowledge uh, acquisition. It encompasses a dynamic and multi -factor, uh, multifaceted landscape uh, characterized by innovation, diversity, and continuous learning. This domain focuses on adaptive learning platform, intelligent tut uh, tutoring system, 
automated uh, grading and assessment, educational chat box, and learning analytics. Now, let's move on to the finance domain. The finance domain encompasses a broad range of activities, institutions, and process uh, related to the management, allocation, and investment of financial resources. It, embr uh, it embraces a complex and interconnected ecosystem of financial institutions, market, products, service, and regularity frameworks. Areas of focus, uh, focus including uh, algorithm trading, fraud detection, robo-advisors, credit scoring, and customer service chatbots. Moving forward, let's uh, delve into cyber security domain, which focuses on safeguarding digital systems, networks, and data from unauthorized, uh, unauthorized access, cyber threats, and malicious activities. It plays a crucial role in uh, protecting uh, digital assets, uh, preserving condition, uh, con confidentiality, uh, integrity, and availability of information and safeguarding the digital economy against cyber threats and vulnerabilities. Key areas including anomaly detection, malware detection, uh, predictive de uh, analytics, uh, user behavior analytics, and automated incident response. And finally, our last domain, agriculture. The agriculture domain encourage uh, innovation and collaboration to uh, tackle sector challenges, ensuring food security, sustainable agriculture, and rural livelihood. Participants are invited to propose and develop innovative solutions that enhance agricultural productivity, sustainability, and re uh, resilience uh, in the face of involving environmental, economic, and social pressure. The key areas of this domain focuses on uh, crop monitoring, yield prediction, pest and diseases detection, uh, de detection uh, precision, precision agriculture, and supply chain optimization. Furthermore, beyond the example we covered, you also encourage to develop application related to the above mentioned domains. So now I hope you have clear understanding of the domains uh, of our competition. I invite you to think about the areas where you can build your innovative solutions, uh, whether you are passionate about healthcare, education, finance, uh, cybersecurity, or uh, agriculture. Each domain offers a unique opportunities to create impactful and transfer, uh, transformative solution. So next, we will be moving into a Q&A session. You can direct your questions via the link provided in the chat box. Please feel free to ask any questions you may have about the topics covered or any related inquiries. Now, I would like to invite uh, Windula Dishanayaka, President of CSSA, to lead an engaging Q&A session with you. Windula. Yeah, so hope I am audible, Koshila. Yes, yes. Yeah, so uh, I have received uh, two, question, two questions, uh, yeah, three questions. Uh, so first uh, one is, uh, should we develop a solution application during the competition? Yeah, so actually, uh, this is the, from to, tomorrow onwards, uh, we'll be posting our uh, proposal submission template and the proposal submission guidelines. So from tomorrow onwards, you can submit your proposals. And after that, we'll be se selecting the uh, seven teams that are exiting into the final round. So after that, uh, those uh, seven teams uh, received a time of uh, two weeks to develop their application. So yeah, uh, you receive two weeks uh, to develop your application. 
Uh, and the next question is, uh, do we have to build an uh, web app for mobile app? Uh, yeah, so uh, regarding that, uh, you have to, uh, in the uh, preliminary round, you only have to submit a proposal. And after that, uh, if you get selected to the final round, then you can uh, develop your application. And uh, it it doesn't we clarify yet, uh, we limit as a web app or mobile app, you can develop either web application or mobile application or software or anything you can develop. We doesn't limit uh, to uh, any application. So and uh, another question is, uh, is there a format to design the project report. Yeah, uh, we will be sharing our project, so project proposal temp, no, proposal submission template to uh, tomorrow morning. So we'll be, we have, we have already structured how you have to submit the proposal. So like in the proposal, we have a limit of five pages. So you can't exceed those, uh, li that limit. So under that limit and under that, uh, we, we have mentioned some topics. Uh, you have to mention uh, your, content under those topics. Uh, so under that format only, you can submit to a proposal and uh, you have to submit in PDF format and uh, one submission from uh, one team will be uh, sufficient. So and, uh, another question is, uh, if we have developed the project, could we put coding in the report? Uh, yeah, so it's up to you. Actually, uh, we have uh, a section called uh, technical aspects and implementation that type of uh, uh, section in the proposal submission template so if you like to put some code or source code anything uh, or if you, you want some like put your wireframes or uh, high level architecture or anything uh, you can put in the proposal submission template as well uh, is it okay to be html yeah we doesn't limit to any technology, you can either use HTML, PHP, or any backend front end framework, or you can either use AI or uh, IoT or uh, anything. We you can use any technology. We doesn't limit you to any technology. Uh, is a wireframe enough? Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, you can decide whether you are if you are designing. A, well, application so you can need to put your wireframe and you are the, the structure of your application so the user path of the application you can enter that as well and it's actually up to you uh, whether you are putting a design the wireframe or the path, user path in the uh, proposal submission it's actually up to you you can decide whether you are using that tool uh, do you all check ai in the code uh, do you check AI in the code? I think you're asking with the AI code. Uh, we doesn't uh, limit you to you will check AI in the code. Uh, I couldn't actually get what you're asking. Uh, I think you're asking with the you are uh, we are checking your ai code as well no actually uh, in the proposal submission we are not much looking into your coding side we are like we are getting an overview of how we are going to implement and uh, the technologies you are using uh, we doesn't look much into coding it's like in the proposal submission we are only asking about your user scenarios and the business implementation and your background and motivation and those type of things so we are not looking much into coding site in that you you your coding experience will be needed very much in the final round so we will be not looking very much into the coding aspects in the preliminary round so and uh, if we are going to finals do we have to develop the whole application no actually you don't need to have develop a whole application a working prototype uh, will be enough because in two types two weeks uh, we can't develop a whole application so a running prototype which we, which you can uh, demonstrate uh, in front of the judge panel will be sufficient uh, do you want the coder system or the project idea oh. 
yeah actually in the sub proposal submission we are only looking to your project idea actually we are not looking for the coder system the coding part will be in, uh, well, necessary in the final round so we are actually looking forward for your idea and how we are analyzing the domain and how we are going to implement the solution and those type of things. We are not looking much into coding site in the proposal submission. But if you need to submit any code or source code, it's actually okay. We doesn't limit that. But uh, in the proposal submission, we doesn't look much into your coding experience. Can you tell me some examples that should be in the report? Yeah, so uh, regarding that, uh, we will be giving the proposal template and also we will be giving some instruction on how you should write that essay. Like under this uh, this subtopic, you have to write these, these. And so we have outlined some few topics, sorry, few points to uh, guide you through that specific subsection essay. So you can refer to a proposal template and uh, if you have any further questions, you can uh ask from or ask from our uh, delegate vice presidents yeah so uh you want to, can you tell me some examples that should be in the report yeah i have covered that uh, can you tell me parts that should be in the project uh, i think you are asking about project report uh, or the proposal proposal lighting uh, can you tell me parts that should be the project report uh, yeah actually we have already structured that and we will be sharing that structure in the tomorrow morning so uh, in that uh, template you can see all the areas we you need to cover in the proposal submission template Yeah, no, it's a wireframe enough for the finals. No, actually, wireframe is uh, not sufficient because we need uh, a working prototype for the final round because we have to implement, no, sorry, we have to uh, demonstrate uh, in front of the judgment. So we need uh, some working prototype uh, to be demonstrated on the in front of the judgment. So I think wireframe is not sufficient for the grand finale. Do you check? Regism in the report and do you check is it AI? Yeah, actually we are definitely looking uh, So yeah, actually we are uh, Sorry, sorry for that uh, We are actually we, we are looking for for we are looking for we are thoroughly looking for actually not we the judgment is thoroughly looking for the plagiarism and if they were found any plagiarism so, so we have to i mean the, upon the judgment decision we have to disqualify your team if we found any plagiarism or if you send chat gp yeah i mean you can use chat gp but it's only for the access purpose so you can't just copy paste all the stuff from the chat gp so it won't be a sub proposal submission I say any physical meetings or something. Yeah, we have uh, already planned to hold our uh, grand finale and the earth ceremony physical. And we are we don't have any physical events uh, before that. But if we uh, if we got any opportunity to hold any physical session or workshop or something, uh, we'll definitely let you know. So stay tuned with us for any that type of message. But currently we don't have any physical meetings. Uh, only the Grand finale and no ceremony will be happening uh, basically. Uh, where's the final series sitting? Yeah, uh, finals will be happening in the University of California, Faculty of Computing and Technology. Yeah. So those are the only questions I got. Uh, Koshila. Okay. Thank you, Vindula. So uh, if anyone has any further questions, uh, I think you can post uh, like Grace. Uh, I think we have answered so many questions. So if you have any further questions, you can uh, 
us from our delegate uh, vice president so you are in our delegate group so you can directly contact uh, and we have the, you have we will share in their uh, contact numbers as well so you can call them or send a message or in time we are ready to uh, answer your questions so uh, i think all those are the all the questions you got uh, so yeah koshila you can move forward okay thank you indira Thank you to all of you joining us uh, this evening as we embark on this exciting journey with Idea Forge. Your presence here is a testament uh, to power of innovation and collaboration. On behalf of our Idea Forge organizing committee, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to each participant for their enthusiasm and dedication. Together, let's make Idea Forge a remarkable experience filled with creativity, innovation, and positive change. We look forward to seeing the incredible ideas and solutions you will develop in the coming weeks. Remember, this is just the beginning. We will meet again at various workshops and, of course, at the grand finale on June 16th. Until then, keep innovating. Stay inspired and let your creativity serve. As the organizing committee of Idea Forge, we wish you the best of luck to all of the teams. Thank you once again for being part of this inspiring event. Having a wonderful evening and see you soon.